Before we go through the procedure to create new alert rules, let's discuss alerts in general. After Redlock connects to your public cloud accounts and begins reading the designated logs, alerts are generated based on Redlock's built-in security policies and alert rules. These can be the default alert rules contained in the default alert group, which alerts on all policies, or policies that you have selected and associated with your account groups. An alert is an event tied to one or more policies that has been incorporated into an alert rule. The alert is triggered when one or more of the policies has been violated by a resource. A policy is a statement of acceptable state or behavior, such as S3 buckets should not be publicly shared. In order for a resource to be considered clean, it must not violate any policy about its state. And as we mentioned in the previous lessons, a policy has a type, which indicates the underlying mechanism used to apply the policy. Currently, Redlock supports config, audit event, network, and anomaly type policies. Anomaly alerts are not based on RQL, but are based on machine learning. Since anomaly alerts are based on user activity, they are not defined by an RQL expression, and because they are based on machine learning, they cannot be cloned or modified directly. So just to summarize, policies need to be included in an alert rule, but they also need to be enabled in Redlock. Not all policies are enabled by default. Their status needs to be enabled with a green status indication. Redlock includes a default alert rule that can be used to generate alerts, but to use it, you must associate your public cloud accounts with the default alert rule. So let's go ahead and take a look at the steps we would perform in order to associate our alert groups that we created in the onboarding process with the default alert rule. So I want to be under the alert rules tab. There's the default alert rule. I want to make sure its status is enabled. I can click on that. The description is default alert rule to scan all policies and all accounts added to the default account group. I can click on next. And here's where I can use the drop down box to add my account group to the default rule. Click on next. You can see that the default is to select all policies. I can then associate a notification channel with this rule here by selecting my email address. We'll go through this in more detail in the next lesson. And as soon as I finish the configuration, I can click confirm. And success, the alert rule has been updated and saved successfully. So therefore, if you do not see alerts after you have onboarded your public cloud accounts, you may need to associate those accounts with the default alert rule. Since the default alert rule includes all Redlock policies out of the box, this may be a good way to baseline your security posture once you get started with Redlock. After making an assessment of your security posture, you may then want to configure more specific alert rules targeting different parts of your public cloud infrastructure or place an emphasis on specific policies or create custom policies.